The Blue Ghost Lunar Lander was built in Cedar Park by Firefly Aerospace. It's now at Cape Canaveral being prepared for a mid-January blast-off to the moon. The goal is to be the first American-made spacecraft to successfully land on the moon in 50 years. In a media briefing Tuesday, Firefly CEO Jason Kim said a lot of work has been done for what he hopes will be a soft landing. We believe in a future of a very robust lunar economy. It is the gateway to other planets like Mars. And so just enabling the frequency of very affordable and high science value missions is what private industry is doing with this first Blue Ghost 1 mission. NASA awarded Firefly a $101 million contract to help the space agency relaunch manned missions to the moon. In Cedar Park, I asked people what they thought about the team-up. Uh, did you ever think we'd ever go back to the moon? Yes. I always thought that we would. I think that's really cool that we're right next door to something that is going to be really huge. Yeah, that's incredible. I hadn't even known about it, but I feel proud of Cedar Park and living here and the innovation that's happening over here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's the, it used to be a small little town that grew up in. Now it's kind of, you know, in space. It's kind of cool. At Firefly's Cedar Park headquarters on Highway 183, from this mission control room, engineers and technicians will manage the 60-day mission. The job includes monitoring 10 payloads that were placed on the lander while it was being assembled at the facility. We're told it's the largest number of experiments to be delivered to the moon for the space agency. We've got a, a nice variety of, of payloads on board that will be understanding uh, the, the lunar regolith, uh, the geophysical characteristics. Uh, we're going to be measuring heat flow from the interior of the moon um, in order to better understand uh, the interior structure, looking at mitigating uh, uh, dust buildup on different materials, um, as well as um, a payload that will be looking at uh, the Earth's magnetic field and how it interacts with solar winds. The mission is called Ghost Riders in the Sky. 2025 is definitely going to be an exciting year for lunar science. A second Blue Ghost lander is already being built, but before it flies, there will be two more attempts at a lunar landing next year. Those flights will be done by Intuitive Machines, a company based in Houston.